Carl Carrot used to work in the dairy business. For 35 years, Carl was a quality control director. He had a company car, great benefits, and a good salary. But 10 years ago, Carl gave it all up to pursue a dream. So at 51, I did the unthinkable, gave up the salary, the company car, the pension, and uh, didn't do it soon enough, that's all. <laughs> Carl changed careers. He gave everything up for this. And this. And this too. Today, Carl restores and sells old player pianos, Nickelodeons, and any other mechanical musical instruments he can get his hands on. The cost of a restored player piano is around three to six thousand dollars. Nickelodeons can run up to thirteen thousand dollars. Completely airtight. Around the turn of the century, thousands of mechanical instruments were manufactured. Only a small percentage of them still exist. When I found this instrument, it was in deplorable condition. The body was broken. The strings were tired. This 1925 player Baby Grand was on its way to the dump. But Carl saved it. He resurrected it from the dead. It plays again, just like the other instruments in Carl's workshop. A lot of times uh, I look at them and they're in such bad shape that I say to myself, you know, is it worth it? But then I turn around and say, okay, if I don't do it, who the heck is gonna? You know, it's never gonna play again. So I get suckered in. Since Carl quit the dairy business, he has restored hundreds of instruments. The same instruments that our ancestors listened to more than 75 years ago. The oldest is probably the orchestrion, uh, which is 1880. If you think about it, these instruments are time machines. Usually, when we look at history, we do just that, look at it. These instruments allow us to actually hear the past. Not only listening to history, but you're, you're actually listening to the notes played in the progression that these guys played them in. Several decades ago, master pianists were hired to record songs on rolls of paper. Their music lives on, partly because of Carl. Around 1930, primarily because of radio and phonographs, mechanical instrument companies went out of business. So the instruments that remain are all that's left. This is my Carl Carrot my calling, I guess. <laughs> I guess uh... Ex-dairy worker plans on restoring them all. At age 60, Carl has found his career at last. In Issaquah, Scott Rinsberger, Cairo News Channel 7.